Hey guys, it's Charcoal Cycle and FPV, and we're now doing part two of our series on setting up your Free Sky Radio. Okay, so what I said, it, the first part one, we covered downloading OpenTX, right? So if you remember correctly, this is the screen where we just left off at. Okay, and I told you if you got a startup screen or any kind of welcome screen that said, hey, you want to set up your profile, skip it for now. We're not going to worry about that. All right, what we want to do is get to this main screen right here, and then I'm going to show you how to set up your radio. So this is part two. Now, we are using, I'll keep my keyboard here for right now. We are using, for this first setup, we're going to use the QX7. This is the ACCST version. Again, we will go to the X9D Plus access version after. So just hang tight, though. The process is very similar, okay? First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to, you're going to, want to, go to settings. Now, I already have settings set up here, so please just follow along with what I'm telling you. Don't look at all the other things that I have that will not appear on yours, okay? So when I go to settings... I click settings and I go to radio profiles and obviously you're not going to have all these profiles like I do because you haven't set this up yet. We're going to set it up today. First thing you're going to do is you're going to say add radio profile. Okay. So again, settings, setting, uh, radio profiles, and then add radio profile. All right. When that opens up, you're going to get this screen that opens up. I hope it's taking a little longer than I expected. Uh, settings, radio profiles, add radio profile. Oh, mine's not working. Hold on. Let me see what I did here. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mine's not working. Okay. So let's go to settings, radio profiles, add radio. I don't know why mine's not working. Hmm. Should be. Uh, let me see if I can find the reason for this. Uh, here I've got too many. Um, let me just delete one real quickly. Sorry, guys. I uh, wasn't expecting that. Let's go to customer X light S. And maybe we can just, uh, well, we're going to do an X9D plus 2019. You know, we're going to do a QX7, right? So ACCST. So let's click that. I'm going to delete that real quickly so I can set it back up. I'm hoping that if I delete it, yes, I want to delete it. Okay, now settings. Add radio. There we go. Okay, so this is what you should be seeing. God, maybe I had too many profiles. So here's your radio profile setup screen, right? What you want to do here is pay attention very carefully. First thing you want to do is name your radio. This is a QX7S, okay? But if you have the QX7, pretty much the same thing as far as setting it up, so just pay attention. So we're going to go, I'm going to title this Customer QX7S. Now, if you have the QX7 and not the S, just put QX7 or put whatever radio you have, okay? Then you want to come down to the radio type and drop down this menu here and find it. Now, if you notice right here, the X7 and the X7S are in the same category. So I say it doesn't matter whichever one you have, okay? But if you're running any of these other radios, just make sure to select the right one. So we are running the X7, X7S, and it's not the Access Edition. It's the ACCST, so that's the one I've got right here. So I'm going to click it, okay? Now, I'm going to leave my language as English, and I'm going to look at some of the options here. I'm not running a heli. Uh, I am going to use, okay, so for you, any of you that may use the Flex R9M uh, protocol, you can check this. Check it anyway, even if you're not going to use it, because if you do end up using it one day, there's no harm, no foul. It's already loaded. I'm not going to go over the rest of these because they really don't matter that much to setting this up. You want Lua scripts, and honestly, the font doesn't even matter. Nothing else matters. So let's just do this for our sake, please. No heli, unless you're flying heli. No heli for drones, no heli, Okay. Flex R9M, go ahead and load it anyway. It's not going to kill you. And the Lewis scripts, perfect. For your splash screen, leave it alone. Clear image, leave it alone. SD structure path, this is important. Click select folder. Now, go to your desktop, go to the transmitter folder, okay? And you need to make a folder for your QX7 or whatever radio you got. So in here, I'm going to click new folder and I'm going to title it, uh, let's see, uh, customer. Q, X, 7, since it's an S, I'm going to put the S. Customer Q, X, 7, S. Now, for you, you may just put your name or whatever you want, but this is to know that this series radio goes in that folder. So once you've made that, double-click it, go inside there, and then do this. Right-click, or just click on New Folder, and just put SD card. Okay? Sorry, card. Okay? Just put that. Who cares? Just type it and hit it. All right. Now... Click it one time till you see it in the folder path here. Click select folder. Perfect. It's now filled it here. Now for your backup folder, this is literally the backup folder for all the radios. Okay? So you can go ahead and select a folder. 
and then under your see I well this is mine so go to your desktop go to transmitter and then here just make a folder and just call it new folder and call it backup okay then make sure it's in the folder option here and click select folder all right now the next thing I want you to do is click enable automatic backups we're in mode 2 so don't mess with that please okay uh, let's see um, we are going to click under here to append a version number offer to write the file after the download and then go up here to the second tab which says application settings and pretty much everything here looks good you see how it's got okay your backup folder for automatic backups make sure to go to desktop and then go to your transmitter and then go to backup okay perfect select the folder now it's going to say automatically enable the backup when you when you write firmware yeah do that leave everything else like mine click ok done at this point you just configured the software to use to download the software for your radio okay now before we stop here's what we're going to do next we're actually going to download the firmware now for your radio so what I want you to do is I want you to see this button right here click it I want you to come down here see my latest firmware is older than this one so I'm gonna say check for updates okay and it's gonna say a new version is available do you want to download it I'm gonna click yes and it's gonna ask me where I want to save it you're gonna to go to your desktop your transmitter folder you're gonna to go to your QX 7s folder or whatever folder you created and here's what you need to do now you're going to make a new folder here called open TX FW that stands for open TX firmware we're going to stay organized with this and follow exactly what I do. So that new folder, which is under your QX7S, whatever you created, double click that. And now please shrink the file name down. So all you really care about is, you know you have a QX7, so you don't need to worry about that. You just want to know your model number. So delete everything else and just leave it to where it says OpenTX hyphen, then the firmware number hyphen. OTX, which stands for OpenTX, that's the company, that's the, the, the firmware we're using, dot bin. Leave it like that because it's easier to read on your radio. Check it. Good. When you're done, click save. Boom. Okay. So it's going to download that immediately, right? It's asking me now, do I want to write it? No, because I don't have my radio hooked up. That's not in this video. Okay. So click no. The next thing you want to do is you want to download the SD card contents. So click it. When you click this, you want to go to the most recent download if you've downloaded the most recent firmware. The most recent SD card contents is right here, 2.3 version 0035. You can see the date. Click it. It is a large download at 103 megabytes. Megabytes? Megabytes. megabytes. I was thinking speed of internet for some reason. So you have 103 megabytes, 113 megabytes here. That's going to take, it says, 23 minutes. That's not normal. That's because my kids are on the Xbox and they're killing my bandwidth right now. <clears throat> so while we're doing this, now we don't have to sit here all day to do this. I will come back in a minute and when it's done, I'm going to stop the video right now because I don't edit my videos. I refuse, right? If I make mistakes, you're going to see them. I'm going to stop the video from recording right now and then I'm going to come back and start it when that thing gets fully downloaded. Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now. Now, you can see it got darker, so it took a while. Uh, now, what we've done is we've downloaded the SD card files, right? So what we're going to do here is, again, we're going to go show in the folder, which because this went to our downloads folder. We're going to right-click on it, and we're going to click copy. And then we can uh, minimize all these if you want. And we can, uh, okay, here, minimize this. And we're going to basically go to our transmitter folder on our desktop, double-click it. <clears throat> we're going to go to our QX7S. In this case, that's the folder I created. Click that. And we're going to right click and then left click on paste. And we're going to put the SD card zip file in our main folder of our QX7S or whatever folder you created. Okay. From there, what we want to do is we want to right click on it and we want to go to extract all. And make sure this box is checked and just let it extract at the default location and click extract. Okay. And you're going to see this progression bar coming. Now, uh, let's see. As soon as this is done, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do next to delete those files. There's some files in here we're not going to need, and that'll be the end of this video. Then we'll go to the next one, which is going to be getting your SD card ready for these files, okay? And then we're going to come back. So just hang down a second. I'm going to show you what to do here, and then we're going to stay in order. This is going to go very, very easily, I promise. So part three will be SD card prep. It's going to be perfect, I promise you, okay?
But right now we have to sit and do this. And my kids are in there playing Xbox, so right on. Having a good time. And it's Friday. It's 5.23 in the evening. It's a nice day outside. About 60 degrees. Not bad. Um, I guess pretty much that's all I have to report right now. <sighs> yep, no, that's it. So, here we go. Oh, no, I will tell you. Uh, if you have a receiver or something that you want specifically done, so here's how this is going to work, right? Step one, step two, step three, all these videos. And then we're going to get to where it's like, okay, we've done it. And then there's going to be um, more videos for more receivers or more radios. So I will do a video for each radio that I own, which is I pretty much own all of them except maybe for a couple uh, different ones. Um, I'll do the X10 uh, Horus as well. All right, anyways, our, our, here's our SD card contents folder, right? So this is basically what extracted from this compressed file here. So now it made this folder that you can see, and in that folder are these files, okay? Here's what we want to do. I want you to go to Sounds. And unless you need to have all these languages, I want you to select everything that you don't need. For me, it's going to be everything but English. Highlight them, right click, and do delete. Just get them out, and they're going to go to your trash bin. And then take the next ones here. I'm going to just hold the control key or the shift key down. Isn't it shift? Whatever. Let me just select. Fine. I'll do one at a time. I'll click delete, and then I'll click delete again on this one here. All right. And I'm just going to empty my trash bin here. Empty recycle bin. Yes. Okay, great. So now what we have is we have um, we have our SD card contents. So if you look at our QX7 folder, we have our SD card. This is what we downloaded. This is the zip file, which you're going to keep that. Keep that, okay, for reference in case you ever damage this folder. Now, we made the SD card folder here, remember? So we have two options. We can either leave this and copy everything in, or we can now delete this and rename this long file to SD card. The reason I had you name it at the beginning is because I wanted it to have a reference. So here's what you can do. Here's what I would tell you to do, all right? I want you to open the contents of this, of this folder here, and I want you to highlight all of it and make sure you get this uh, text file right here, this version file, okay? And I want you to right-click on all of those and left-click on cut because we're going to remove them. We don't need them. Then I want you to go back to your QX7 folder, double-click your SD card folder, right-click, and go to paste. All you're going to do is just move those files to the SD card folder that we set at the beginning. Okay? Now, if you've done that right, what will happen is when you click back and you go to your SD or you go to your QX7 folder, this folder should now be empty, and it is. So you can go ahead, right click on it, and delete it. Okay? One more thing I want to do before we end this video. Remember how you had this open TX firmware, right? I want you to now right click on that folder and left click on cut. Okay, then I want you to double click on your SD card folder, double click on your firmware folder, right click in the folder and click paste. Basically, we want to start putting our firmware in order. Okay, then I want you to right click anywhere on the blank screen, left click on new or left, uh, go, sorry, go to new, find the folder here and click and type FR, oops, I'm on the wrong thing, F. R S K Y K T X dash F W. That stands for Free Sky Transmitter Firmware. I want you to go to a blank screen, blank spot on your screen again. Right click again, new. Left click on folder and do F R S K Y R X dash F W. Hit enter. So now you have your file folder set up for organization, and the R X stands for Receiver Firmware. So now we're set to go. Okay. At this point, we're stopping, and we're going to get ready to get our SD card for part three. All right, guys, here goes. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions, you know you can always join our, uh, go to our Facebook page, on our groups page, or you can um, uh, to ask for support. And then always please subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay? This is the kind of, that supports us tremendously, and it looks really cool for my kids, too. All right, other than that, guys, God bless, be safe, and we'll see you for part three in just a second. Bye.